Hello. Hi. Tell me, who are you and where are we? Uh, I'll start with where are we. Yeah. So we are at Fairphone, uh, a Dutch uh, Amsterdam uh, company that makes uh, phones as fair as possible, or we use our phone to, to show like the, the, the complexities of, of doing a product a little bit more sustainable with a very transparent model so that uh, everybody can learn from it and hopefully we can inspire the industry as well. And I am Miguel Ballester. I was part of the founding team and I am the resource efficiency manager. So I take care of all the projects that have to do with something about the circular economy. Oh, cool. So you're perfect for us today. So Fairphone, here we go. Built to last, mm -hmm. okay. Um, the user can easily take this apart mm -hmm. and replace things, change things. Why did you go for the strategy where the user can do that rather than saying you take it into a store and we do it for you? Mm -hmm. Why did you choose that strategy? I think when, when you think of uh, circular design for your product, you, of course your product is not just isolated from the rest of the organization. right? So there are some, some decisions that you take on, on a product level that may actually facilitate things uh, at another level in the organization. And when you think about uh, repair, if we are able to do it as simple that uh, any person, consumers can do it, then that's the kind of the, the lowest level, right? So you, you assure that in any point, at, any po at any point that phone can be repaired. That may mean indeed, as you said, like at the, in the house of uh, one of our clients, but just any repair center that we may work with uh, uh, in the future. We are a small organization, so we don't have our own shops. Uh, we are increasing our distribution network and, and partners, mm -hmm. but and since well, you know it's it's getting better, it's getting bigger, but we are not there yet that we can offer like a very good after sale service in 27 countries mm -hmm. all over Europe. So actually, the fact that the that the user can repair the phone by themselves is has been very instrumental in uh, assuring for a good maintenance of those devices uh, in the market. But it was always like that from the beginning, wasn't it? That was sort of your founding philosophy. Definitely. I mean, there, there's different levels of repairability, you know, like what we see. Uh, of course, we wanted to differentiate as well in the market, no? So we wanted to show and make this statement that, that you can have a, a device that is very easy to dismantle and very easy to, to repair as an opposition to what we are seeing in the market where you know, there's more, more glue and, uh, and uh, less crews. <laughs> but of course, there is a gray area in between these two. Right? And we could also have chosen to uh, go for, you know, a repairability that you still have to work on it, no, as a, mm -hmm. as a user. Mm -hmm. um, but we thought, like, now, as we, as we grow as an organization, as we, as we developed our after-sales uh, capabilities also across countries, then it's better to go for the most extreme option. Mm -hmm. Uh, show that it's possible, show that, that it is feasible and that, you know, and, and, and also use it as an opportunity for us as we expand the organization in facilitating operations, I mean. Uh, I'm just thinking it. I mean, some of the people watching may have never seen how this comes to pieces. Just show, the, just show everybody, uh, because I love this. Every time I see this, this blows me away. Because you, you look at your, you look at your, your other competitor model smartphones. We will not name them. But you just have a look at the one in, in your pocket or whatever, if you're not lucky enough to have a fair phone. Now watch this. <laughs> yeah. So I, I can explain. So the, the, the focus was also to, to define or to, to design a device that from the outside would just look like a normal device. You know, and we also didn't want to, to have something very strange, let's say. No. Uh, but on the inside, when you, you realize that it's just very easy to open. So this is how you click. Uh, the back cover, so it's a uh, back cover from uh, polypropylene, uh, you know, recycled materials, etc. Uh, you have here a ring that goes around your screen that is also very easy to replace. And then simply you just remove your battery. Uh, and if your screen breaks, you just remove your screen with your hands. Um, what we are sure with this is that with the, 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 the type of repairs that uh, that need to be performed either very early in, on, on the life cycle of the, of the product or it's just very handy that people can do it very easily. Um, as you can see, you can do them with any, uh, with no tools at all, just yeah. with your hands. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, if you, 
if you think your phone is not trendy anymore and you want another color, then you know, this is very easy to change. Yeah. Uh, your battery after two years probably will start performing uh, less good, very easy to change. And everybody knows how many times a, a glass breaks uh, yeah. from a screen. Yeah. So that's all very simple to remove. Yeah. But um, we have also three modules. Yeah. And these modules contain uh, all the electromechanical components. So that means you know, components that that have some sort of interface with the world, right? So yeah. you can think of a, a speaker, for example, needs to vibrate to emit sound. Yeah. And, and, and ha these mechanical forces and mechanical movements uh, uh, may mean that a component, well, breaks depending on the use, right? Like if you, if you use your mini jack connection a lot, then at some point it will start failing. Um, so all these components are, as I was saying, isolated in these modules that are just very simply uh, uh, extractable with a, with, a, with a screwdriver. And that's also something that everybody can do. Mm -hmm. And that's connected to what I was saying. So now, if somebody calls us and says, hey, uh, my mini jack is not working. Mm -hmm. In the past, we would have had to take that phone, which may be, I don't know, in Greece, for example, mm -hmm. take it back to our repair center in the Netherlands, mm -hmm. wait, you know, waiting times were very, uh, very long. When now we can just diagnose that on the phone or on email and then send that person a top module that includes uh, several components, but it's really a small part of the phone mm -hmm. to change that uh, mini jack connection themselves. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, iFixit has helped us uh, developing the, all the tutorials that are online uh, and freely available yeah. for people to, to just show uh, how it can be done. Mm -hmm.